We are doing the hoarder stuff still, the bourgeoisie run. So we have the ending, oops, not sealed, the ending, um, hoarder, um, and then we have heirloom, since we don't get a Niao bonus, and then we have a, a, a modifier that's not on this list that we're imposing on ourselves, which is we can't pick any common cards. Oh my god, the specimen. <laughs> we In the last run, we also got a super good relic from Niao. Uh, what, what, wait, what did we get? Oh, we got Birdface Urn from Niao last time. Pretty helpful. Um, it literally saved our life in the heart fight. Silent card group is 1933-19. Are you saying there's 19 commons, 33 uncommons, and 19 rares? Makes sense. Um, let's go through this path. Oh, wait, no, let's do this fight, two question marks, two fights, and then, like, a fire before the first elite path. Actually, that's only one elite in the act. That seems bad. Uh, it looks like we're just inevitably only getting one elite in the act. I guess I'll go to one of these two first, so that if I feel super strong, we can go fight the Mega and the third. Um, so I'll go through this path. Alright. Um, I think we're just blocking this turn. Bourgeois or no, those slimes will beat you. They're out here with the, uh, the guillotine. They're ready to go. Uh, all right, neutralize. Uh, I guess yeah. Neutralize double strike blocks for six. And then defend block for five. Stick at three. Okay, getting a little bit of damage in. Taking two more. Ouch. I guess we'll block for as much as we can, set up for lethal next turn. Oh yeah, poison things are going to be hard to get, huh? Um, terror, I think is pickable. Um, getting three copies of terror with a specimen is kind of bad, though. Um, we can't pick Bane. Bane would be the pick if we weren't a member of the, the rarefied elite. Um, I guess I could pick Caltrops. Um, we do three copies of Caltrops, turn into a ghost, get some leg sweeps and stuff. That seems okay. Yeah, it's a ton of damage against the heart. 9 times 15 is like almost a damage cap. <laughs> it's like 135 damage. I think I'm going to pick it just because triple terror is so bad. It's just way too much terror. We need some damage, so I, I guess Caltrops is kind of damage. Oof. Not looking promising so far. Uh, I guess I'll develop a Caltrops and split one. I guess I could split both and take two. Seems sensible. Oh, I'm taking... Yeah, I'm taking two. So have you, have you decided how you can do the event cards because of the common banner? Um, yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue the previous interpretation of you can pick them. Um, as long as you're not picking a common from a card reward, you can do whatever you want in events. Dash is life-saving. Dash is super, super good. Okay, all right. We can't do this because we get three copies of Doubt. That event is pretty much a no-go. This is one of the few ways to remove a card from the deck. Um, uh, deck quality is not really a huge concern. Because um, we're going to end up with 40 cards, right? Um, so I think we just take the heal here. If we take the heal, we have a, a somewhat higher chance of fighting this Mega Elite and Third Elite. Which would be a big boost to our power. So I think I'll take the heal. John Worms here for my health. Not in a good way. Uh, do I try to save two health or do six damage? I think six damage is correct. Because clearly the bourgeois event isn't saying I can't have any common cards in the deck. Because I have like strikes and survivors and they have the common banner. 
Um, Right. Caltrops, not super good in this fight, but I guess I'll take it. Six damage. I think that's lethal, yeah. Cool. Alright. Wow. Six dashes? I mean, I guess, right? Sure. I think six dashes. Dash is really good in this fight. Um. Strike versus Caltrops. Caltrops is certainly going to do more damage in the long term. Um, you could start with Draft and then you'd have no commons. I, w one of the tragedies of Slay the Spire's um, modifiers, and I think there are many, I think the modifiers are actually quite poorly done um, for Slay the Spire. Um, one of the tragedies is that you, almost none of them make the game harder um, and because, um, because draft mode makes the deck so much, makes the game so much easier, and there's no, no modifiers available that make the game harder without making it, like, stupid and impossible, like, um, if you pick one hit wonder in terminal, right, it's like, you have to find health on floor one or else you die immediately. Um, uh... Because, it is, because draft makes it so much easier that you just, like, you draft and then you just cakewalk your way through the run. And there's, like, n it's not even close. So, unfortunately, draft is not fun. Um, I think Caltrops is the pick. Okay, dash defend. Dash survivor is pretty much exactly what you want here. Take two damage, and ideally that's the only two damage we're taking in the fight because of all the dashes. Um, killing him is pretty important to avoid the dazes. Um, we've got a really big uh, deck, so we're going to get a lot of dazes before we shuffle the first time. You still have the best uncommon poison cards in a rare... Yeah, the right. I don't think it's going to be a big problem to do poison stuff, um, especially now that we have the dashes to support us. Um, it, it is kind of sad that we have this, um, uh, specifically Deadly Poison. Um, but, like, Noxious Fumes is the main thing, and, like, we'll have access to that, so. Okay. Hopefully we get a dash next turn. We, did. we just need one more strike to kill him. That'll do it. Alright, so we ended up taking, I think, like, 12 damage in the fight. I think these are all no's. We can't take Blade Dance. Distraction is bad. All attack is bad. We already have two dashes, so we don't need that. Or six dashes, I should say. So I guess we'll upgrade two random skills. Okay. Um, we get full value out of Rusting here. Um, we don't get very much value out of... Um, Upgrading in general, because the deck is going to be so huge. So I think we'll rest and go fight the Mega. Regenerating Gremlin Knob. That's bad. <laughs> That's not a good one. Uh, we can play triple Caltrops on turn one. It's going to do like 18 damage. Um, okay. Yeah, we should be fine here, um, but regenerating Gremlin Nub is, is, a, is a bad outcome in general. Oof. Uh, oops. There's only one target, so I assumed it knew what I was talking about. Uh, Colorless Potion doesn't do much. Could be an attack, but we can use that later. Um... Strike versus Survivor. He is hitting himself for 9, but he's healing for 3, so he takes net 6 damage, goes to 34. Pretty unlikely we're going to do 34 damage next turn. In fact, we're going to get exactly this hand. We're going to dash neutralize him next turn. So that'll be 15 plus 4 damage, so we're going to do 19 damage next turn. And then probably defend plus. So I think Strike right now is appropriate. 
I guess with the colorless pot, we might go there next turn. Yeah, let's see what it is. Flash of steel. Okay. Okay. Triple dash. Um, he's going to kill himself, so we might as well block. Whoa, Sneko Skull. Okay. I like it. Can't pick that. Not allowed. I would like to, but I can't. Uh, triple Adrenaline's amazing. Yoink. These pads are literally identical. Both have a uh, thing and a thing. Meal ticket. Uh, we're going to shop this act. We are not. But meal ticket is still super good. Um, like I was mentioning before, Smith is not super good. Uh, we really need Noxious Fumes. <laughs> Noxious Fumes is going to be so good. Go ahead and rest here. Just to make sure we get, make it through the Elite. This would give us three regrets, so that's way too bad. Let's we'll take the max HP since we're so close to full already. Sentries again. What? A bunch of jerks. Uh, dash blocks out. I guess let's see what's in the box. Um, I think double Caltrop Strike is better than Dash Strike. Okay, we got Dash Survivor Neutralize. I guess Defend is just as good as Survivor. Defend Plus. Uh, what's in the box? Okay, we'll use Strike to kill him. Dash to... I guess he's going to be the lowest because he's about to take 9. So we'll take him. 6 dashes. Good fight. We'll just dash this guy. He's already dying to uh, return damage, so... I don't care about him. Cool. That's a good one. Incense burner. We're not allowed to take poison stab. Uh, do we want three copies of infinite blades? I think we want to pick poison stuff. We've got Snecker Skull and Specimen, so we just like need noxious fumes. Um, so I think we skip that. These pads are also identical. Don't matter. Okay. A couple of adrenalines. Getting amped up at the beginning of a fight. Makes sense. Uh, we're going to target Cultist first. Um, because he scales up. We could have taken an infinite blades and hope for in Venom. That's true. And Venom would have been super good with uh, Sneko Skull. Um, dash, neutralize, Caltrops, Strike would be almost enough, but not quite. I don't, I'm not really a fan of In Venom Minus, though, and um, uh, getting an upgrade is uh, not likely. Since we're getting three copies of it, we'd have to spend three upgrades upgrading all of them. Okay, skill pot. Skewer is pickable. Um, I think we've already got Dash in Skewer's spot. We don't really need more Dash type effects. Um, so I think we're skipping this. I want poison. Alright, we, what we want an incense burner to end on. Um, so, slime attacks on turn three, right? Because his turn one is he puts slimes in your deck and then he prepares and then he attacks. So, we want um, incense burner on four. Um, wait, or do we want it on three? Oh my god. <laughs> so, if you put it on five, then you block on turn one. If you put it on four, you block on turn two. So, we want it on three. Okay. So, we want to kill this guy in three turns, ideally. Three or nine turns, if you have preferences. 
Um, Caltrops makes us lose control of the fight a little bit, and I kind of want to stay in control. Yeah, we went on three. Took me a second to work that out in my head, but I got to the same place. Um... Taking some damage. Pretty reasonable split here. We'll go ahead and um, kill the one who's not attacking so we don't get debuffed. Because we're already blocking now. Uh, we want it on three, so we have to wait for a long time if we want that to happen. Because we can't kill him now. And we've already got one proc of Caltrops. Um, yeah, we got a win with the Ironclad. Um, and now we're, we're attempting with the Silent. Uh, the Ironclad deck ended up really fun. It was just a it was big old um, Feel No Pain Juggernaut Fiendfire mess. Um, we almost died to the heart. We had a, a little gap turn after we took uh, Apparitions. So he, I thought we were dead for a second, but we bought orange pellets from the Act 4 shop. So we managed to purge the vulnerable at exactly the right time and survived at like 2. Um, so if we need to survive for 6 turns in this fight, what does that look like? He attacks like 50% of the time-ish, so he's taking like... 9 damage from Caltrops, so I think it's good enough for to strike him. It also helps that we can kill him in an emergency. Okay. Um, if we dash, he dies. Um, but I don't want to take 7 damage, so I will kill him. Um, I think I like Cunning Pot better than Gambler's Brew. Can't pick any of these. These are commons. Puh. Get them away from me. Um, hmm. Silent has some trouble with Slime Boss, and our, our relics are, don't really help us with this fight because we don't have any poison. So I think I'm going to be super conservative and rest here. That is a triple rest act one. So not my finest act one of all time. But we did get six copies of Dash, so there's something. We also fought our Mega Elite. Alright, our Neutralize came up on the wrong turn, so he's not going to be weak during his big attack turn. Um, def double defend is more block per energy than dash, so we'll double defend dash. Skill pot could save us 12 health here, so we'll give it a shot. Am I allowed to click this? I'm not sure. It's not going into the deck, so I think we can pick it. It, we sullied our name, but it's just, it's like, we just, this is like we had a, okay, so these potions, they represent our servants, so we had our servant come and poison the slab for us. That's how this works. That's why they don't get added to the deck. Um, uh, he's at 86, he's taking 5, so we don't want to damage him because then he would split weakly. He's taking four, so still not splitting, and these strikes are not super impressive, so I think we're going to wait another turn, because we can. <laughs> Dalarance, the scullery made. We're a stable hand. Wow. <laughs> uh, he is splitting no matter what, so we might as well split him a little harder um, with the cutting pot. Uh, we also do have the Instance Burner lined up pretty well here, because the uh, the first turn when he after he splits is fairly scary. Although, only one of them is attacking here. 
Um, what the hell is a scullery maid? Is it like, is that just a woman of low birth? Is that what, is that what scullery means? <laughs> um... Uh, dead poison? Yeah, let's poison him. We just want to split this guy as quickly as we can. Or set him up to split, just in case. Yeah, here's the attack, double attack turn. Alright, so we split him. And I guess... Neutralize him. We're only taking two damage, so we'll, we'll split the spike slime a little harder. I see. <laughs> well, naturally, obviously, my uh, my my footman manages most of the most of the help. I don't know exactly who's down there. Um. Yeah, I think we probably should have avoided the comment card from the from the thing. I just I felt stupid because I I did the the thing late in the turn and then I got a burst. I was like, well, darn. Um, okay, so do we kill the one who's debuffing or the one who's attacking? Um, let's kill the one who's debuffing. Finally, our first chance for the specimen to proc in the run. <laughs> um... It's true, I do want it to be challenging, but I do keep taking opportunities to, uh, to take common cards. Oh, weird. My poison just, just vanished. I've never had that happen. The whole idea for Specimen is your poison never goes away, but it just went away. Because um, it didn't have a chance to do damage before he split. Poof. One more poison for you. Um, I think we kill him if we do this, so let's kill him. Uh, Alright, dash defend should block out. Hmm, we could set Incense Spirit up for next act. Oh wait, no we can't, he's got dying on one. Traps. Uh, second Adrenaline or Triple Burst? I like Triple Burst quite a bit. Um... Ooh, Ansan, man. Ansan is so into this. Ansan's like, just all about... He's ready. He's ready to go. Own people. Um, get his head cut off. In a revolution. Um, Adrenaline's so good, though. Six copies of Adrenaline seems like a really good place to be. Six adrenaline, six dashes. Adrena dash. We're like we're a sprinter. If we've got a, six adrenalines and six dashes, we're like a world class sprinter. Getting hyped up for the race. I'm going. Burst plays more into the like poison stuff that we're probably going to pick up at some point. Um, die to die is really good for act two. Maybe we should pick die die die. I think I like adrenaline the best. Hmm. I wish there was like a quartz explosion here. Yeah, it's true. We would get die to die, die to die, die to die. We'd get many, many dies. That's nine dies. Keeping all the dying for ourselves. Getting triple die to die is like building a big old mausoleum in the in the graveyard. Classic aristocracy stuff. Um, I don't know if being a world class sprinter is really my calling. We've got the dashes. I mean, if we're going to be doing a theme deck, we should be picking six copies of cards, right? Uh, Astrolabe is extremely scary. We get rid of three of our strikes, but then we get nine copies of the new cards. Um, 
Um, if we are interpreting potions as hired help, then maybe Sacred Bark is like, we get to, um, we like head up the local church. So we have the, the Sacred Hired Help, double effective. Astral Labor to the walls. Good point, good point. They would be upgraded cards, but wait, they could be common cards. <gasps> but, I mean, we're not technically clicking them, so. Um, <laughs> most fetching. Velvet Choker seems like a practical problem, given that we have six copies of Adrenaline. But I like your style. Um... Yeah, I think we just go for Sacred Berg. Astrolabe would be fun, though. I guess I guess Astrolabe is our way to cheat ourselves into uh, poison cards, right? So that could give us, like, turn our strikes into deadly poisons and stuff. That's true. We could draw literally five Adrenalines. <laughs> that could be a hand that we draw. I guess that's good, right? Because then you end up with a 10-card hand and lots of energy. All right, let's do Astrolabe. Let's, this is this is the most fun, and we could end up with poison um, through Beads of Hypocrisy, and Hypocrisy is, is uh, that's what we're looking for. Okay, so we got three Wraith Forms, three Banes, and three Accuracies. <laughs> uh, hmm. Wait. Our shivs do 15 additional damage? That's like kind of a lot. That's like, shivs are hitting really hard now. Um, so, okay, so we got rid of three strikes and we got three banes, right? So we really just upgraded our strikes to banes and then also got three wraith forms and three accuracies. Um, so we're, yeah, okay, so we're like, we're like a, an Olympic athlete, right? We've got, we got six dashes, six adrenalines, so we're like, we're competing in like the 50 yard dash, but then also we've got accuracy, so we're like, maybe we're, we also do like the, the what, do, what do you call it? The like three triathlon, where you like ski and like shoot or whatever. Um, and also we're a ghost, technically. Okay, um, the Apparition event is super, super good with Hoarder. Um, we want to be as ghostly as possible, and we already have three Wraith Forms, so that's going to be the way we're blocking a lot of the damage. We have three Wraith Forms and three Caltrops, so I think the the dream is real, where we let the heart kill himself. Um, especially if we can find... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> On sign, I, I'm... This is... I, I don't know. I don't know how to do it. It's, so, okay, so, so this is silent. Here, how do I, how do I see a picture? I saw a picture of him a second ago. You can see, you can barely see him, her behind the behind the back here. Um, sorry, I can't see who this is. Thanks for the raid, uh, Barapoli. Barra raid. Um, awesome. I don't think I've seen you around, Barapoli. Um, thanks for thanks for the raid. I appreciate it. Are you? Uh, did you play Slay the Spire? Do you? Uh, do you have some? Rain told me to raid. I can piece. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Um, do you have, is that a, you have a croissant. You have a grumpy croissant. Okay, all right. Everyone should should go follow Barapole because they have a grumpy croissant. And that's amazing. Uh, uh, that's amazing, grumpy croissant. How do you, how do you come up with ideas like grumpy croissant? Okay, sorry, I don't want to stomp on, on Ansan's thing. Ansan, is, is forcing me to talk about... Okay, so uh, this this run is a, a bourgeoisie run. So we are... Um, we're role-playing the Slay the Spire. Um, we have the, the Hoarder and Heirloom modifiers, obviously because our ancestors are so wealthy. They bequeathed to us an Heirloom. And we have a bunch of money, so we, like, we're hoarders. But also we can't pick common cards. Um, because that would be... Um, that would be... That wouldn't befit our station. Um, and Ansan has asked us to uh, further illustrate um, <laughs> how we got to where we are from being a, a filthy commoner, like we were born. Um, so uh, it all started in um, 1541 in a French brothel. Um, we were born to a, a woman of, of low stature. 
Um, uh, but we were chosen by the, the, the King's Lottery uh, to attend the, the Royal Academy. And at the Royal Academy, we, um, we uh, schmoozed with all the, the bougie people. <laughs> So he schmoozed with all the bougie people. He's way out of character. I apologize. That's just, that's not how it's supposed to be. Um, I'm just... <laughs> okay, alright. At the Royal Academy, we met the love of our life, uh, Alessandra. Um, uh, she was beautiful. We observed her from a distance um, playing uh, the, the church organ with no gloves on. And we were smitten. Um... Uh, two days later, we asked for her hand in marriage, and she, unknowing our, our past as a peasant, accepted, thereby uh, vaulting us into the, uh, into the ascendant heights of the aristocracy, where we now find ourselves. How did we get the specimen? Uh, that's that's a, an exercise left to the reader. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't understand how that fits into this story. Um, I guess the specimen... Yeah, since, since our... This is, this is the trinket we used to remember our mother, but it smells kind of bad. Um, okay, Actipath. <laughs> it's also something the stream is about, in addition to um, role-playing. Um, no, no, it's not her head. It's something we remember her by. It's a, it's a trinket that she, that she told us... Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know what it represents to her. Um, we were very young when we left, and we've forgotten. But it's very important to us. Um, we have enough money that we could go to a shop, so I guess we could go, like, this path? Um, I would like to hit that fire, though. Um, yeah, let's go, let's go on this shop path and take the two fights early. Uh, we could get robbed, though. Maybe we just go to three question marks. Yeah, I think we just go to three question marks. That's in fact. Yeah, it's true. The specimen being the, uh... Wait a minute, how do we have the heirloom modifier if we if we came from nothing? Alright, moving on. Uh, <laughs> Caltrops is super good in this fight. Um, there's, a, there's a gap in my story. Maybe no one will notice. Um, if we run really fast, we can run away from our past. Adrenaline dash. For some reason, accuracy is also in the deck. <laughs> My immersion. Um, uh, let's neutralize this guy so that he rounds his damage down. And then kill this one. Okay. Yeah, I love the Wraith form beta art. It's my favorite. Um, Bane, Predator, all attack. We can't choose Bane. That's illegal. Um, Predator is pretty good. If we're trying to run really fast with like dashes and adrenaline, Bane seems like a natural extension. Like we're running after somebody now. Um, I really, I don't want to ignore this accuracy though. I feel like a lot of my damage should be coming from shivs eventually. Um, and predator is not shivs, so we've got like shivs, dash, and poison for damage, and predator is kind of. And the extra. Bourgeoisie and rage. Sir Artemal, what are you. What, what kind of bourgeoisie have you been interacting with? Gotta keep those emotions bottled up, man. Um, I think we're just skipping this. Um, okay, transforming two cards is super scary. Uh. <laughs> Noble fiercely slapping some peasants. Oh man. No, we don't slap them personally, 
we have cow traps and then uh, wraith form and they slap themselves. Uh, we could get three copies of Jax. Just get really strong. Um, that seems like a, it's sort of a dark turn to our like sprinter narrative if we get three copies of Jax because then we're, we're clearly uh, resorting to steroids, right? Um, kind of combos with the accuracy and the main thing. I don't think we really need it. We'll just take the mutagenic strength. It's good. Maybe we'll get some turn one shivs and stuff. And upgrade all our strikes and defends. There are six cards there. I guess uh, there's more than six. There's seven. And two of them are already upgraded, so it's only five upgrades. Um, we could remove an accuracy. Um, we could just remove a strike. Yeah, let's get rid of these peasant cards. Trying to leave that life behind. Um, I was hoping for some poison. I don't see any. Um, Art of War is okay. We can get more Caltrops. Sure, sure. Um, if we're doing a theme deck, Caltrops seems more to Caltrops seems appropriate. So then we have six Caltrops, six uh, dashes, six Adrenalines. We just need a, a, a fourth through sixth uh, Wraith form. we have it all. Um, yeah, is Triple Backstab good? I mean, we have Mutagenic Strength, so it probably is good, right? That's like, that's a lot of damage on turn one. So we'd hit for 14 times three. Um, I kind of want this Art of War. It seems like we're pretty low on energy. Also, where is the poison? What is... <laughs> we have all this poison stuff <laughs> and then no poison cards. Um, I wish we had Ninja Scroll. Uh, Shivs would be better because we could get accuracies on turn one. Um, all right, I think we're going to buy Caltrops because this is a theme deck. And then maybe Art of War. The only real attacks we play are the dashes. Uh, although we've got Bane now, too. Seems like we need the energy. It seems wrong to buy Art of War and Backstab. So I think I'm going to skip the backstab. And we could buy like a potion. Yeah, let's buy a dupe pot. Okay. Uh, question mark and a, an elite now or fight and then fire and then elite. Um, I think question mark. Yeah, it's true. Um, the dash is a, is a lot of our block. I, I, I don't need Dash Art of War to trigger every turn, but we need to it to trigger some turns to get um, Wraith Form going. I think I want this question mark, because I really want to turn into a ghost. So we want like this question mark, and then that one, and then like more. This isn't how you turn into a ghost. Uh, my current potions are really good, so these are all not good. Okay. I am starting off real fast here. Uh, three, six, nine cards. This is safe. Oh my god, another one. Uh, dash is not lethal, although two dashes is lethal on Mad Gremlin. Um, I guess I can dash him and then play Caltrops and he dies, but then I get debuffed. Um, I think I am going to double dash Fat Gremlin. And then play some Caltrops. And then Accuracy. I guess I could play Accuracy just to get it out of the deck, but that seems like an overcommitment. Hmm. 
Uh, seems like Neutralize needs to go on Leader. And then double defend Power Pot and look for Wraith Form. Ooh, Noxious Fumes. <laughs> Getting more cow traps. Do we dupe pot and defend? No, surely not, right? The uh, incense burner lined up horribly this turn. For this fight. We could play Wraith Form. Um, I imagine that's going to protect us until the end of the fight. I don't know that's true. Okay. <laughs> okay, we've got we've got six intangible and eighteen thorns, so that's something. I don't know what's happening, but this is this is the thing. I guess that's, that's how we win fights, sure. With four intangible left at the end, so. Okay. Uh, I don't think finisher's appropriate. Actually, finisher's kind of amazing with three adrenalines. Um, but no, we need to pick like more defensive stuff. Looters, muggers, robbers. Time to be a ghost. Um, I think Caltrap's dash is the most damage. I don't think we need to play two Wraith Forms in this fight. Um, I hope they attack for the third turn. Darn, only one of them chose to attack. Late to this party, is this modded deck? Uh, the deal is this is a bourgeoisie run, so we're, we're role-playing as a, um, a... a silent that's a cut above the rest. Uh, three damage plus... 10 is 13, not quite enough to kill Looter. Um. Hmm. I guess I'll do it anyway. So he's taking 15. So he's at like. He's still at higher health than Looter, though. So dash kills him. Um, accuracy can get the hell out of the deck. <laughs> yeah, we're never getting there. I tried to catch up to him. We were too slow. A traumatizing experience for a silent that is normally so fast. Can't pick any of these. These are commons. Dirty, gross comments for other people. Uh, Alright. Um, I guess, like, dash defend. Need to generate some block here. defend to set up the AOW instead. What is AOW? Art of War? Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, that's that's fair. I would need to do we need to do 20 damage to Centurion so she starts healing though. Huh. 
Ooh, so much adrenaline. <laughs> I guess I play strike over accuracy. the fastest silent ever. Okay, we got all of our thorns set up. Full 18 thorns. At some point she has to attack me, right? I don't know if I can out damage her. I think she might like outscale me. Oh we got her. Okay. Um worst possible incense burner setup, because I was not paying attention. Um endless agony does not combo with accuracy. For reasons that are unclear. Some some of the silent shiv synergy cards say zero cost attack, some of them say shiv. Accuracy says shiv. Uh, I mean, infinite blades is, is a lot of shivs though. Uh, I think we skip all these. Um, extra question mark or extra fire? I think extra fire is pretty reasonable, we're kinda low. Juicy bracelet's very weak. Um, if we played three infinite blades on turn one, that'd be pretty sick, actually. Um, is Juicy bracelet better than Sapphire Key? Um, no. Well, that is scaling. That's. <laughs> Right? It's like you play powers to get stronger. Uh, let's go ahead and rest here so that we're ready for our elite. Uh, so I want to ask if it's elite first or question mark first, but then the real question is do we want the extra fire? And I think the, the answer to that is yes. So question mark first. Do we read the book? Uh, it makes all our dashes double, which seems good. Um, if it's Necronomicon. It is. It feels like it's Necronomicon more. Oh crap! We just got three Necronomicurses. Totally forgot about this. <laughs> okay. Well, darn. All right. Time to fight some slavers. Um. We could sort of tie ourselves in knots to not play an attack here and trigger Art of War, but I think I'd rather just dash. So like, dash, double Caltrop, Survivor. Maybe dash, Caltrop, Survivor, Defend. Uh, we're definitely double dashing because we have Necronomicon now. We're blocking for 20, we only need to block for 14 more, so like, Survivor Defend is a little bit overkill, uh, but I think I'll do it anyway. It's important to get those Caltrops in, because eventually we're going to see a Wraith form, and we're going to want to play it. There's the Wraith form. Um, double Dash is pretty good here too, though. Yeah, I think just Double Dash is, is good enough, because it blocks for 20 and kills one. We can set up more Caltrops. Just running along, dropping Caltrops behind us. Slavers are chasing. Hurting their little feet. Okay. We can double dash in Wraith form here, or we could like double dash Caltrops. I think we need to play Wraith form. And then I guess I'll play Caltrops with them. Trigger Art of War. 
Who needs double dash? I do. I do that too. Let's see. Um, so he's dead because he takes 15. I don't know why I decided to do them in this order. Um, I don't have any answers. Ice cream? Okay. We can pick any of these. Um, we are generating quite a bit of block, and we have uh, Wraith form. So it's definitely possible for Blur to pay off. I think we're primarily trying to block with Intangible. We skipped a backstab, and I don't think we want it now. Yeah, I'd consider three blurs, but it seems like we've got enough block with the Wraith Forms and the trip, the double dashes. We have to be really cautious about how many cards we add to the deck, too. Like, I really, really, really want Obnoxious Fumes. <laughs> like, oh my god, give me Obnoxious Fumes. Um, Alright, I think we're resting here. And then getting Noxious Fumes from this Triple Cultist fight. Um, how badly do we want Art of War to trigger next turn? Because we could play Accuracy, or we could play Bane Strike. Bane Strike is 22 damage, that's quite a bit of damage. I guess I won't skip it. Okay, we'll just trigger it this turn. So now we got the Wraith Form Caltrops thing going. And double dash later. This is a very, very silly deck. Okay. We can't pick any of these. These are commons. Uh, doesn't seem like we get a lot of value out of resting here. Maybe we recall. Yeah, upgrades aren't very valuable, so I think we just recall. We got all three keys by the end of Act 2. Seems like we're doing well. Uh, I'll play three Cal drops on turn one, sure. Just one strike is not worth the Art of War damage, so we'll let them do it. <laughs> yeah, worst possible, it says Um So fast. Many energy. Wow. Uh, why did you use Defend I Have Ice Cream? Good point. I did not think about Ice Cream. Forgot about Ice Cream. Is the reason. Um, Caltrops is always happening. Um, I think double dash is happening. I think we're going to triple dash this torch head so that he dies to damage return. And then neutralize this guy. Uh, we've blocked out. So I think we can dodge using Wraith Form here. I think this would be a pretty early Wraith Form. So we'll start targeting that Torchhead. Alright, double dash on that Torchhead seems reasonable. And then do a Caltrop to take a little bit of damage. Final Caltrops. Alright, we've been debuffed. Uh, I was assuming we were going to draw a Wraith Form here to protect ourselves, but we did not. Um, so I guess just Triple Dash is how we're blocking. 
It's not too bad. We're only taking 10. Um, this seems like a bad turn for Wraith form. So we'll just double dash and Bane. Get in there. Aha! The Incense Burner finally lined up. Did something. Um, I guess this is a bad turn for dash. I guess I'll just take one. Because otherwise I'm doing 21 da or uh, I guess 28 damage, so I do 5. Yeah, I'll skip 5 damage for one extra energy next turn. Also, Ice Cream. Uh, yeah, we need the dashes this turn for sure. Guess I'll play Accuracy to get it out of the deck. Um, I keep drawing the Wraith Forms on turns when he's not attacking, but like maybe I should just play them now. Um, oh wait, my Vulnerable is wearing off. Maybe I don't care anymore. See, again, no attacks. Why did we not use the Vulnerable Pot like a million turns ago? Um, I guess we can use it now to get to get a kill on this torch head. So this would do 30 and this would do 15. And then we could neutralize on collector. Uh, I guess if we're doing 30 and then 15, we can do it on this torch head. Oh shoot, I overblocked. Uh, only by four. So he's summoning again. Uh, so I shouldn't kill this Torchette, even though I could. Okay. Um, We're getting there in Collector. Um, so, we're already being attacked this turn. We already have Intangible, so if we Wraith Form, we just extend it for three turns. Um, yeah, I think we just go with the Wraith Form now. And I'll defend for one health. Despite the Ice Cream. Almost there on the collector. That'll do it. Okay. After image, die to die, doppelganger. After image is pretty good. Um, with all the adrenalines and the stuff. If I ever get shivs, after image is good with that. It's also a way of get blocking that doesn't depend on decks, so the Wraith forms work. Okay. We need a way of blocking, so. Uh, curse key seems good. We don't have to open any more chests because we have not only the blue key, but all the keys. Um, I kind of like drawing on turn one. We don't really have any discard synergy stuff, so I think Kite is out. It's gonna be curse key. Okay. <laughs> get three curse keys or three curses? I wish I got three curse keys. Uh, we could go to a shop. Shop is reasonable here. We could get a four elite act. One, two, three, four. Or these two. Um, both of those routes seem reasonable. This one gets an early shop, which I kind of want. Maybe this is too early. This is only like a 200 money shop. But the other way is like a lot of fights. So I think I'll go through the shop. Okay. We do actually want upgrades now. Upgrades have been kind of bad all game, but now they're actually good. Because we can upgrade the um, after images.
<laughs> Killing the head with Caltraps will be tricky, that is true. But playing a bunch of cards and then playing um, playing double uh, dash seems like a pretty good head strategy. Just play Adrenaline Forehead. Uh, we can't pick any of these cards. They are commons. Can I please get a poison card? No. No poison cards. No poison cards for you. Um, okay. Fine. I guess I'll buy Orange Pellets again. Um, yeah, Orange Pellets is great with uh, Wraith Form. Yeah, we would be really good with Shiv stuff or with... Um, Poison, but we don't get any of it. Okay. Yeah, I can fight these guys. Sure. That's true. We could remove the mutagenic thing with accuracy. Accuracy double dash uh, defend keeps the strength here. Okay, fine. If you insist. It's kind of awkward to have both Art of War and Orange Pellets, because it's like, don't play attacks, but then also play attacks. Um, I think this is a Distilled Chaos moment, because I don't want to take 17 damage. dying in this fight. Maybe I should have duplicated the survivor. Um, double Bane kills Orbwalker. That seems good. Uh, double Defend helps me block. I think we need to kill one. Yeah, this, those Wraith Wars would be pretty helpful right now. Take on 10 every turn. There's a Wraith Form. Although now we don't need it, because now we have Lethal. Right? 26 plus 6? Not, not exactly. Um, I guess it's like it's self-lethal, right? He's gonna kill himself. Oh, it is lethal. Okay, well that was tough. These are all... Oh wait, we could take Footwork. Is Footwork good? Um, it's a power, so we can use it to trigger orange pellets, but I don't think it's good. Would make the double dash block for four extra. I'm gonna skip it. Hmm. Well, this would be a lot better if we had a poison card to follow up on removing the artifact charges. Like maybe a Noxious Fumes. And if I say the name a little louder, Noxious Fumes. I'll get it in the deck. To get the idea. Noxious Fumes. Um, I guess I am willing to pay this though. Getting them weak on turn one when we're also strong on turn one is, is okay. I, I know, right? We got the specimen Sneko Skull by like floor five, and I was like, wow, so much poison stuff. Literally haven't seen a single poison card. No Crippling Cloud, no Bouncing Flask, no Noxious Fumes. Not even a Deadly Poison or a Poison Snap, although we wouldn't be able to pick them. Um, not even Corpse Explosion. Uh, if, we off if, we take the if we lose this 110 gold and then we go to a Surprise Shop and get offered a Noxious Fumes, my head will explode. Um, but we don't go to this shop until we've been through a couple of fights, so I think we'd be able to afford a Noxious Fumes. Maybe not, though. Yeah, I think I'm going to save the money. We're going to still try to go through the four elites. I think we can handle one elite and then rest for the next one. Dark Light. Nice. Okay.
Double dash the one who's buffing. He's a bigger threat. We are already blocked out, so we can Cal Traps. And we do not have Art of War active, so we should play Bane. Get accuracy out of the deck. And not play the defense. Um, seems like a pretty good situation for a Wraith form. I think we need to end this fight before we run out of Wraith form. Um, I guess Caltrap's at Baden is almost as good as Double Dash. Is it? So Dash gets an extra, an extra 13 damage for the one energy. Um, but then Caltrops gets to do 3 damage to him. Yeah, I got it. It's going to be a long fight. Long-ish. Um, I will neutralize here. It, um, it saves us a health by blocking. It also prevents him from buffing, which could be bad. Probably doesn't matter because we're intangible forever, but sometimes things like that matter. to himself, but I might as well kill him too. <laughs> Minus nine decks there at the end. Um, Endless Agon is the only pickable card, and I don't think I want to pick it. Alright, turn one after image, that's what I'm talking about. Um, I think I'll go ahead and double dash this turn, why not? Actually, wait. Um, yeah, double dash accuracy also purges debuffs. I was thinking about Wraith Form to purge debuffs, but double dash accuracy actually purges it when Wraith Form does not. Caltrops in Nemesis is bad. What do you mean? Why would it be bad? It doesn't do much. <laughs> um. Yeah, sure. I guess I'll get that out of the deck. Um. Can I block without dash? If I do these three cards, that blocks for three, sum up to five, and then plus 13 from this. So um, 18 is like hitting for 21, so no. So I don't really need the energy anymore because um, ice cream has proc a bunch, although I shouldn't waste it on overblocking like that. Oh, okay. Time to show Nemesis that he's not the only one who can go intangible. And we need to play an attack to purge the uh, decks down. Oh no, we lose some packets. I see that we've lost 507 over the course of the stream. It doesn't look like we're losing any right now. Maybe it was on your end? I'm not sure. Um, I'll play a defend the block of burden damage. Huh. 
Huh. Must have been a little little blip interruption. Um, I'm kind of sick of stacking up energy, so I'm gonna use Bane. Need to get some damage in. Okay. Uh, there's a poison stab. That's our first poison card that's been offered. We can't pick it though because it's come. Whetstone. Got a dash upgrade. That's really good. All right, I think we're resting here. Um, after image double dash seems good. I guess we'll caltrops first for the slow prop. Um, wait a minute. Um, so we've after image and caltrops. So we've played a power. So we have to play a skill and an attack here, if we want to. Um, if we want to keep the strength, and I think we do. So that probably wasn't the optimal way to play it. Um, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, all right, let's have a big turn. Play a bunch of cards, finish off with a big dash. Oh, I guess I could have played Bane too. Oops, should have played that first. For the slow. Um, I guess playing both of the dashes is probably better than playing two powers. Play the big one first because it gets doubled. Normally you'd want the big one last for the extra slow procs. We mostly blocked out. Alright, <laughs> nine damage, not too impressive against a giant head. Ah, oh, no dash. Oh man, that's painful. We played so many cards this turn. I guess it's time to start Wraith forming. And I think we'll try to drop back to this one because we want to play these Banes. Caltrop, Baden, Double Dash is probably the, the line. Oof. Okay, well, good thing we have Intangible, because otherwise this we would be dying this turn. Um, we can play two Wraith Forms, but we can't purge debuffs this turn. Uh, which is kind of scary. I think we have to play at least one or else we're going to die. Maybe we don't need to purge debuffs. But I think we get to purge debuffs like never again. I guess Accuracy is still here. Uh, the negative dex is not a huge deal. Because we can purge it. Let's play the Wraith Forms. It seems like the safe thing to do. Alright, there's the Accuracy, so we can Purge now. Um, so, Accuracy... Defend, Double Dash. And I think we win now. He's doing quite a bit of damage to himself. Um... Do we just, like, save energy this turn? I think we just save energy this turn and have a big turn next turn with the, the double dash. Okay. I guess I should have played a card to prevent a health loss. Not really the big turn I was imagining. Okay. Okay. 
We got there. Fossilized Helix is our reward. Let's unload expertise. Um, man, where's my noxious fumes? <laughs> God, or crippling cloud, just anything. Um. All right, I, think, I don't think we want to do this. We don't have quite enough energy manipulation for expertise to be good. I can't pick that, or else I'll get three curses. Um, let's see. Does this ever give us poison? No, it can't. Right, colorless cards can't get poison. And these would would count as common cards if I clicked them. Um. Um. But it only costs a little bit of health. We're about to go to a shop. I'll just take one. I, I can't imagine like a really good outcome from this. This is the problem. Um, violence is going to get dashes. Um, apotheosis would be good. Getting three apotheoses though is, is like kind of meh. Maybe we just skip this all. Okay. Do you have noxious fumes, please? Oh, he does! Wow. He also has twisted funnel, but we have to skip that. We can get noxious fumes and bouncing flask here. Um, go from zero to hero here really quick. Okay. Well, we just added six cards to the deck. Hopefully it's still a good deck. Uh, all right, so we're gonna do Noxious Fiends Double Flask. All right. Um, we can just block this with the buffer if we need to, or we could try and block with dash and stuff. Uh, double dash blocks for 20 plus 13. 20 plus 13 is not enough. So he's going to hit us either way, and he's intangible, so there's not really much point in hitting him, so I'll just save the energy. Maybe we should play the accuracy. Pretty sure we're killing him before our wraith forms wear off, so I'll just play that. You only need to block for three. Already blocked out. We don't really need more energy though. We have 11 energy. So I guess I'll just punch him. We are actually pretty close to running out of Wraith form here. Looks like an opportunity to purge debuffs. So we're gonna have to play an attack here. Uh, but I guess that's gonna be dash. Okay. Uh, double dash is lethal. Okay. Well, that feels a lot better. Pocket watch is amazing. <laughs> We're asking for not just fumes since floor one when we got the specimen. It's literally like the first card I wanted. We get two of them, one on floor 45 and one on floor 46. Yeah, you were right. The next the next uh, card reward. I honestly think we do take a sixth to Noxious Fumes. Um, wait, is that ever right? Maybe that's stupid. Um, yeah, hold on. Um, we have three Noxious Fumes already. And three Bouncing Flasks. And the more cards we jam into the deck, the less Wraith Form dense we are. And I think Wraith Form density problems are how we lose to the heart, right? Um, yeah, I think we're good with just three copies of Dungeon Fumes. 
So as hard as it is to not click this, given how badly I wanted it one floor ago, I think we don't need it anymore. Okay, mm Winding Halls is super, super bad with Hoarder. Um, we get six madness or three rive. So we'll lose the max HP. And go on to our final elite. Um, this is a great fight for Noxious Fumes and Bouncing Flask and stuff. Um, we can't quite play it all. Uh, we could, if we can kill one dagger, then we can block the other one with a buffer. But we only have 12 damage. I would love to keep the strength, but I guess it doesn't really matter much. So maybe we just like bounce like flask wraith form. We want to probably play two more cards for pocket watch. Oh wait, if we Bouncing Flask Wraith Form, we still lose the buffer, we just don't do anything with it. That's really sad. Um, defend, we lose the buffer to one damage, so that doesn't do anything. Maybe Bouncing Flask all lands on one guy and I can kill him with Strike. Yeah, it would have to be all, all three on this guy, specifically. Uh, which is going to be hard to pull off, but I guess I'll, let, I'll try it. Yep, not quite enough. I guess it would have only had to hit him twice because of uh, Sneko Skull. I'm not used to how the math works here. Alright, I guess we just take nine. And he dies next turn to Noxious Fumes. So we purge our debuffs, play Caltrops. Uh, double dash kills him and spreads his poison around. Um, and then Bane kills him, is that right? 26, yeah. So we end up taking uh, 11. Oh, slightly less because of the Tori. Thanks, Tori. Alright. Uh, with the double dash, we don't even have to block the 25. We're just blocking it automatically. Bane is finally a good card. Everything's coming together. Okay. And she is dead at the end of the turn. A little bit of a hectic fight, but we got there. Classic floor 48 mob bank. Um, third shot at a footwork. Is it good yet? No. No, I don't think it is. Okay. We're going to have to rest here, I think. I do want to upgrade one copy of um, After Image. Maybe I'd do that at the Act 4 fire. Seems kind of aggressive to do it here. Let's see, who's the first boss? Awakened one? Awakened one should be pretty easy. Alright, let's try it. It's super aggressive, but I think it could work. Okay. Um, all right, so we want to play double dash to block this turn. I think we want to play after image and not just fumes. So I guess that's the whole turn. Oh wait, hold on, I'm gonna restart the fight. I intended to purge debuffs. I didn't, wasn't, didn't realize that that line didn't do that. 
Um, so we actually can't purge debuffs. There's no skills in the hand. Oh wait, there's, there is a skill bounty class, but we can't play them. Because the only attack and the only skill both cost two, and that's all the energy. Oh wait, no, we could play like after image bounty class Bane, I guess. But that just takes a lot of damage. Okay, all right, I think we did the right line anyway. Oh, that's true. If we Wraith Form in Phase 1, do we ever win? We actually, we can, like, cheese this fight in a really weird way. Um, if we can manage to focus down the Awakened One while a Cultist is still alive, we can transfer the poison from Awakened One to the Cultist back to the Awakened One and kill him twice with the same poison. Um, it doesn't seem like this deck can really do that, but it is fun to think about. I think it's just Wraith Form Caltrops here. Yeah, I guess it is possible, but it's like borderline possible. Um, Caltrops is super good in this fight, so I guess we'll just let that ride. We've given him so much strength, just like Kalthrasing without a care. Yeah, if we ever become vulnerable, he's just killing us immediately. Um, so I guess we just don't ever become vulnerable. Big rush here. Um, yeah, the burner totally saved us too. I noticed that. Uh, we actually can block quite a bit. Maybe we don't need Wraith Form this turn. Triple dash him. Blocks for 30. play these. <laughs> uh, I think those don't accelerate me a, a full turn. I think he's, he's dying. He's on the three turn clock, whether we play these or not, so I'm not going to play those. Same with this. You think we lose? I don't know. I'm not so sure. It's possible. Um, maybe we kill him this turn. Man, we should have played some attacks last turn, because I think this would be lethal if we played some attacks. Um, Alright, so we have to play Wraith Form here. Shouldn't have played the defense, that was a mistake. Obviously. Um, I guess we play the powers while he's down. This, I don't know, I, I don't know if I've ever seen him just be, like, down for a whole turn. I thought the Caltrops killed him. I guess that means he's committed to attacking, so it's, it's the same as if you killed him on your turn. Darn. Um, well, this really is bad. <laughs> that just wasted a whole turn of intangible. We don't have a lot of those. I mean, we do have a lot of them, but not enough to just throw them away. There's left in here. There's a Wraith Form here. We can also block with Double Dash. He's only got 26 uh, attacks. If it's not the multi-attack, we can block it with Double Dash. This one is the multi-attack, so we can't. And we need the damage, so we're going to run out of energy.
Uh, Bane is more damage than Dash, so throw in Bane. I think we're getting there. We've got three more intangible. Yeah, he's dead. No way. That 18 Caltrops got him. Uh, that's true, we could have set up Burner better. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have to dig through some um, artifact charges here. Noxious Fumes is the best for doing that, but I guess I'll do it with Bouncing Claws if I have to. Uh, we have to play a dash to uh, purge debuffs. Yeah, such a 20. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've blocked out turn one. This fight should be pretty easy. This one shouldn't be hard. But, like, lining up the incense burner for the second boss fight is totally a good thing to do, too. Um, well, we can't block for 15. So we're losing 15 health. I guess if we... Let's see, is there any power pot that's two cards? It would have to be a... Uh, Wraith form. Uh, I guess if I had power potted and gotten um, uh, after image earlier in the turn, it would have worked. Neutralize is a great way to remove artifact charges. And Dash does a lot of the blocking this turn. So we're blocked out. Um, no need to strike. Do we Wraith Form now? Um, I think the answer might be yes. We're blocked out this turn, but we could die next turn. There's only one Wraith Form left in the deck. Yeah, I think the answer is yes. Next turn is like a, the one gap when Incense Burger is on five. Alright, there goes the last artifact charge. Get the decks down off. Um, and now Bouncing Class start hitting for a lot. Hmm, a lot of energy. I guess Double Bane is a lot of damage. 26, that's 52 damage. Yeah, I'll take the 52 damage. Should get there pretty quick on Donum. Maybe before this attack even. Uh, we can triple dash him. That does 39 damage. 39 plus 24 is uh, not quite there. And so we don't get there. Okay, uh, that's fine. Uh, I guess we just double dash and play the next rate form. Almost certainly getting there in time. Can we do two damage over one turn? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, not the greatest incense burner setup. You want it on five or four, I guess, for um, turn two of these fire elites, but should be okay. All right, pretty decent health. Um, we could upgrade a second after image. The earlier we can get the after images, the better. Um, I think getting two upgraded after images is probably worth 10 health. Oh yeah, we're at full health anyway. Uh, ooh, we can't afford the membership card. 
Yeah, sorry, sorry, forget, forget about meal ticket BE, you're correct. Uh, okay, so now that we're in Act 4, do we want to 4th through 6th the Noxious Fumes? Um, I don't think so, I think we still don't want them. Because, like, the, the thing that's killing the heart is the Caltrops. The poison helps, but it's mainly the Caltrops, I think. Um, and having additional Noxious Fumes doesn't really help against Act 4 Elites. We could buy setup, that's technically allowed. Probably buying a potion instead. Um, fire pot could be pretty helpful in the Act 4 Elite fight. Um, power pot could be too, but maybe blind? Um, buying three copies of blind. Um, getting weak against the heart is really good. Yeah, Wraith Form's good. I like Wraith Form. We already do have a power pot. Um, if I buy blind, I can't buy any other potions. Blind can peel artifact charges off of... Uh, um, off of Spire Elites too. I mean, if, if your starting assumption is that we're so we're so strong at blocking that we don't care about anything, then you can come up with anything, right? Like, but my starting assumption is that the heart will kill me if I don't do the right thing with this shop, right? So maybe the right thing with this shop is to pick blind, because like with double dash, if you if you weaken the heart and then double dash, uh, and purge your debuffs, that'll make you survive like most turns. So that could like buy us a couple turns where we don't have to play wraith forms or like where we didn't draw wraith form. Um, it's a pretty thin deck for uh, hoarder deck standards. It will buy blind. Okay. All right, got the two after images, the double dash, the blind. This is great. I'll be keeping that strength. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Uh, all right, well, we do get weak through this, this fire spear here, um, so we don't get utterly uh, truckloaded, but um, we do get hurt quite a bit. I think that we're hoping this is wraith form here. Nope. Um... All right, I guess Caltrops then. Um, I think we take Caltrops and don't play it. <laughs> I think we play Noxious Fumes and set up Pocket Watch for next turn. I guess it does block for two. Um, no, it doesn't block for any because we're losing buffer either way. It does um, 12 damage to Spire Spear. Yeah, that's not worth anything. Okay. Well, that hurt. Maybe they have a pantograph. Wouldn't be surprised if these guys are trying to sneak a pantograph past the heart. The heart has a strict no pantograph policy. Alright, seems like we're pretty set up now. We never did find a shiv, did we? I was like, those accuracies do so much damage. Nope, they don't do anything. Um, it's true, we could find it now. Uh, blind and Bane purge debuffs. Oh, maybe we didn't need the Bane. Maybe we'd already like double dashed or something like that. Thing. Wow, Bouncing Flask. Good targeting. So he's dead next turn. Outstanding. Uh, 
Oh, I guess he's dead now. Um, many dashes. Get him. Um, oh shoot. I just procked Incense Burner too early. We want it on four. Three's okay too. At least it's not one of the, uh, the really bad numbers. Uh, can't pick any of these. These are dirty commons. Okay, no pantograph. We got all three after images on turn one. Uh, we do have to start with a defend to block beat damage and save the buffer. So now we, we exceed the, uh, we can play cards and we, we block in excess of the uh, beat damage now. Uh, blind coming up huge, weakening him for next turn, and then Bane purges debuffs. Keep that strength. It's kind of weird to skip a Caltrops on turn one against the heart, but I guess that's what's happening. Uh, looks like a Wraith Form turn, I guess I'll let Adrenaline try to save me first. Oh wait, we have buffer. Um, hmm. Caltrops. Do we wraith form or do we not? Wraith forming on turn two of heart fight is pretty brutal. I guess we're playing both Caltrops either way. I mean, getting 47 health out of the buffer is pretty much the best case scenario, right? Uh, we could also strike now to purge debuffs. Yeah, let's just strike and purge debuffs. That's a good idea. Now we actually gain even more block per card because of the. We've got three intangible, and the beat of heart is only hitting us for one. Or three uh, after image because the beat of heart's. The beat of heart only hits us for one because of the intangible. Ugh! Words. Is single dash worth it, or do we save two energy? I think it's worth it. We need to get damage in. We'll be getting, like, free damage caps later, but for now we need the damage. Alright. Get another fumes in there. Uh, do we wraith form now? There's only one more wraith form in the deck. Uh, it's possible we could end up dead if we don't wraith form. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm getting Pocket Watch either way. It's either like Double Dash or Wraith Form. Double Dash does more damage, but we've already done a pretty good amount of damage with the, uh, the Thing Magic this turn. I think I'll play Wraith Form now. Okay. Uh, Bouncing Flask removes the Artifact Charge. It's not very easy for this this deck to get um, get damage caps, but I think I agree he will be dead in nine turns. Um. Aha, we can blind him. It's not very useful. He's going to be intangible for the next two turns. I guess it's still worth positive block. <laughs> um. Double dash is better than skip here. And I'll save the rest of the energy. Um, Caltrops is getting played. Double Dash is getting played. Defend purges debuffs. 
And then Bane seems like 26 damage for one energy is probably good enough. Um, okay. The damage from the the um, the basically damage cap from the thorns goes on next turn's um, counter. All right, so that's a damage cap. Um, that's good. Caltrops actually doesn't do anything anymore. It only does like six more <laughs> damage. Yeah, actually this Caltrops will never um, do any damage because we already damage cap him with just his own damage return. Um, but I guess I'd rather, let's see, is there a reason to keep it in the deck? Uh, I guess that's true. It does three damage versus big attacks. We are about to shuffle, so I think I'm gonna play this slime. Um, we could keep it in the deck to purge debuffs, but he never debuffs us again. Don't play it. Just to get it out of the deck. Increases the uh, dash and wraith form density. He's attacking for 60, probably gonna need a wraith form to block. Uh, let's double dash and then adrenaline to try and draw dash again. I think that could potentially block. He's already weak. Neutral is still worth positive block, because... Oh wait, I guess it's neutral now. We've got the same amount of after as he has beat. Um, Alright, looks like we're reforming. That's fine. Purge the debuff immediately. Get some extra... damage. Oh, I guess he's dead. Okay. Neat. I guess I'll let Dash do it. Oh wait, it can't. Oh no! Alright, well... Dash gets the uh, symbolic victory there. Okay. Um, yeah, that's a fun one. Um, <laughs> so frustrating to get the specimen from Niao and then Sneko Skull from, like, our second elite? Um, our first elite, actually, we got war paint from a hallway event, I think. And then um, we got Sneko Skull from our first elite, and then didn't find any poison until floor 45, where we finally went to a shop that had a uh, Noxious Fumes and a Bouncing Flask. But, like, literally, like, the, the two of the last three cards we picked were the only poison cards we ever found that qualified. Um, kind of goofed on the Necronomicon. I think if I was thinking about that clearly, I wouldn't have picked the ne Necronomicon. Um, but it did work out pretty well. We had a lot of dashes. Uh, had a lot of fun this run, too, with just, like, role-playing <laughs> role playing being a athletic superstar um, uh, bourgeoisie character. Um, pretty fun. I like it.